guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a brand overview on a house that I've wanted to talk about for a long time on this channel, and that is Cartusia. Um, they do um, perfumes, grooming products, and um, uh, scented home products as well. Um, and I was sort of always interested in this brand. I've seen them in retail locations. I've seen them in places like Barney's, etc. Um, and I've seen them in places like Lucky Scent. And uh, so I reached out and they were uh, generous enough to, to give me, you know, a couple fragrances, um, a home um, scented product and a couple of their grooming products as well. I'm going to cover the grooming products in a grooming video I do later this year, and I'm going to do full reviews on uh, both of the fragrances that were sent to me. Right now, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview on uh, uh, some of the products they make, uh, and let me give you a little bit of backstory about Cartusia before we talk about the products. So basically, there's this legend that in 1380, the father prior of the Cartusian monastery of St. Giacomo was... Um, sort of surprised by the news of the arrival of the uh, Inca Pri of Queen Giovanna de Angio. And so a flower arrangement was made with the most beautiful flowers from the island, and then the water wasn't changed for three days. And when the flowers were thrown away, uh, this uh, father noticed that the water had acquired a beautiful fragrance. He went to the alchemist who traced the origin of the scent back, and that water became the first perfume of Capri. History tells us that in 1948, the prior of the monastery, monastery discovered the old formulas of the perfumes with the permission of the Pope revealed them to a chemist from Turin who created a very small laboratory and called it Cartusia. That tradition is continued. Limited production um, means being able to use those same methods. All the preparations are made from um, products of high quality and the end product are all hand wrapped. Um, the essence derived from rosemary picked on Monte Salarino is used in men products while the essence of the Capri Wild Carnation is used in the women's products. This is a brand I always sort of looked at as Santa Maria Novella, sort of a similar to Santa Maria Novella. If you guys watch my channel, you know how, how high I hold Santa Maria Novella products. Um, in esteem. I think that they're um, very expensive but very good and um, I think that these are better priced than Santa Maria Novella products to be honest with you guys. So they sent me a couple things so again I'm gonna give you some quick impressions on those and I'll have um, more full videos for you guys down the road. So the first thing they sent me was a um, soap bar which is in my shower right now and guys I can't tell you how much I love the packaging. Um, on these products. This is an aloe uh, vera soap bar. Um, it's $12, it retails for online. It has notes of aloe, elemi, artemisia, cardamom, cedarwood, musk, and white amber. And I really like it. To me, it really doesn't smell of aloe. Aloe sort of has a um, very hard to define smell that doesn't really smell like too much. This is very green and pine-like, um, very herbal, woody. Um, it's masculine. It's a really, really nice soap that leathers unbelievably well for $12. So I, I recommend you definitely check that out. Um, they sent me their, uh, again, the packaging on this is just gorgeous. Their Fioria de Capri um, hand lotion. And that is modeled after the Fioria de Capri perfume. Um, and this hand lotion is 20 bucks. It's, it's great for obviously chapped hands in the winter um, or just you know if you have dry skin or anything like that it does smell like the perfume and I'll talk about the smell of the perfume in a little bit now they also sent me a reed diffuser uh, which I will is in my office and I will it's not in my office and I'll tell you why and I'm going to show you a couple of photos of that right now um, and this is the Rasa variety, which retails for $45 online. And it has notes of jasmine, bergamot, lemon, and orange blossom. And the reason why it's not in my office is because, um, so in my home, I really don't like constant fragrance. I like candles and I have some sprays, but um, I'm trying to become a perfumer and having like a um, scent constantly in the air just isn't great when I'm developing. On perfumes or testing materials 
so I like them in my office, but I put this one in my office and my boss is allergic to, to fragrance. And so she came in and she was like, oh man, this is whatever's in here is really strong. I love that. People who, other people who are in my office love that, but she didn't love it. So I, I did give it uh, to someone else and um, it's a shame because I think it's probably the best reed diffuser I've ever used. Normally for me, reed diffusers work for a small amount of time and then they become really faint. This one just boomed this beautiful um, citrusy floral scent that I think was really clean and inviting. Uh, unfortunately, not for her, and she's in my office a lot. So um, I gave it to someone who put it to better use, but I can't tell you how badly I wish I could use that in my office because it's easily one of the best reed diffusers I've ever used, if not the best. Um, the other thing they sent me were two perfumes. So the first one is a perfume water, uh, geranium, which is what you see in front of you. It's in a huge bottle. Um, and again, the packaging, guys, on uh, this is just so friggin' cool. Aqua, the Cartusia, geranium. Like, I just love <laughs> the packaging. I thought this was three soaps, you know, three hand soaps, and then this gorgeous bottle um, and this has notes of geranium lemon calamint cedarwood and white musk by the way the reed diffuser if I didn't mention it retails for $45 this retails for 78 and it's very much an eau de cologne style fragrance but it's a gorgeous um, spraying it now amazing sprayer by the way yeah it's a gorgeous geranium fragrance um, geranium lemon mint ah, sort of a lighter a um, much, much lighter Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Mall, but just very effervescent, fizzy, light, geranium, mint, musk, lemon. Uh, I, I'm gonna definitely wear this a lot in the summertime. And again, full review coming on this down the line. And then the other thing I was lucky enough to get sent to me was their real classic scent what sort of made them put them on the map. This is Cartusia, and this is the uh, Profumo, the Fioria de Capri. Uh, this is it there, Fioria de Capri. Uh, and this retails for $80 for 50 ml, which is the bottle that I have, $120 for the 100 ml. And the notes on this are, Carnation, Lily of the Valley, Lang Lang, Oak Moss, Ambergris, and Sandalwood. Now, if you're a Luca Turin fan, in his first book, Tanya Sanchez gave this perfume four stars. Um, it's really good. It is a either three or four, I'm pretty sure four, but it might have been three, I'm pretty sure four though. Yeah, and I think she had it pegged. She called it an indolic carnation scent, and that's exactly what it is. Um, I think it's much better suited for a woman. I think you'll pull it off if you're a guy. To me, the person who this is perfect for, and again, I will fully review this. I'm gonna do a full review because I think it's worthy. This is a beautiful um, perfume. And the bottle is actually just really gorgeous as well. There's some pattern on the back, if you can see, but this is for, there's, um, if you ever watch the show Sopranos, in the first season, Tony goes to Italy and he meets with this woman, um, Annalisa, I believe her name is. She's the mafia chieftain, you know, her husband's sick and she's taking over for him. And she's like the mafia chieftain of her region in Italy. And that's who it's for. It's for this powerful, secure woman who's not a grandmother because like powdery floral scents can have connotations of older women. And like, I've seen that online about this one. No, I think this is for like the powerful, a very powerful woman. I think a gentleman could definitely pull this off because it, it does have um, some, some more masculine notes in the base. Um, and you know, carnation is definitely a scent that can sort of go both ways or a note they can go both ways, but in the base, you know, you get an oak moss and ambergris and sandalwood. It feels like there's some resins in here. Um, so it can definitely go either way. I think people who like, like shit like Chanel number no. five, um, 
you know, old school fragrances, some of the old school Quran stuff would really like this. To me, it's probably, uh, it probably leans a little bit too feminine for me to consider wearing this often. Um, but I think it's a really, really good scent. Um, I'd probably do a little better with the, the Cortuzio Momo, which is one uh, I'd like to check out in the future. Um, but I think this is just a really, really good old school carnation scent. And um, it's the quality is just like seeping through. So a brand you should definitely check out. I expect full reviews on Fiori de Capri and Geranio. And when I do an upcoming video, um, on new grooming products. I'll talk a little bit more in depth when I have a little bit more time with the aloe soap you know, Packaging and uh, Fiori de Capri hand lotion. So I will link to Cartusia in the description so you guys can check them out I would love to know if you guys have tried anything by Cartusia Like you know, what's your opinions? What's your thoughts on this house? Um, I don't really hear it talked about too much online, which is why I wanted to, to, to talk to do something with them um, and um, let me know if you agree with that and what you would like to see um, me talk about from them uh, if you have a preference. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon with more videos.